Martin McGuinness said in 2002, yeah. this war is over. Yeah. Is it over? Do you think so? The armed yes. side of the war is definitely over. Um, I'm, I'm firmly behind, most of the politicalised prisoners are behind the move to, uh, to dialogue. Now, we not always get what we want, <laughs> and we haven't got what we want, but we are moving slowly. I mean, 20 years ago, I could never have pictured where we are today. I could never have pictured it. A major part of our work is outreach, outreach, reaching out to groups, and we have very, very good working relationships. As a matter of fact, long before the political institutions were up and running, the ex-prisoners were liaising with loyalist ex-prisoners and with other groups, because we know the price you pay for violence. Okay, People get killed and people get injured, and we were very proactive before the politicians were active. We, the ex-prisoners, were very active in our communities in keeping violence down okay, and in talking with each other, because that's a major thing we learned in prison. You asked that question earlier. Dialogue is vital. Cause Dialogue breaks down on certainties and lack of knowledge. You have to understand what Republicans want. We're okay with the peace process and with storm out, okay? But we want the United Ireland. So everything is interim to us. Do you understand? Yeah, temporary. Yeah, yeah. It may be temporary for 20, 30 years, but it's temporary. So we accept it, but it's not what we want, okay? But we will put it up because we don't want any killing. But we know that we are right because it makes sense. Small country, five million people on the island. There are bigger cities in Spain and there are bigger cities, cities in France and England. So it makes sense on the economy scale to have a one political setup, a one economy, a one export policy, a one health service. It makes sense. So we know we're right, but we have to sell our message. It used to be that we tried to fight our message to people, but now we will sell our message to people. There are people functioning quite well out in society who just don't know anything about the armed struggle. The armed struggle is over maybe 13, 14 years. And uh, so we have teenagers who don't know what bombs sound like or shooting or grenade attacks or heavy machine guns. And this street, this where we're sitting, was a very, very heavy, heavy fighting area. This was a big... This used to be called RPG Avenue, so, poof, rockets. So it was a, this was a, a hub of fighting in the area, guerrilla warfare. So these people don't know anything about it, and they shouldn't know about it, because generally people shouldn't know about guns and war and killing, you know, we shouldn't be following funerals. So they're entitled to go about and chase girls and drink and do sh stuff. They shouldn't have to face up to war. So, yeah, we, we have a good future because... The peace process roughly is embedded. Republicans will not go against it. Unionists, because of their perceived threat of loss, might try to end it. I hope, I hope they're not successful. We, we, we deserve peace. But bear in mind, what we have at the moment, from our point of view, is temporary.